Hello everybody. Today we're going to be talking about O drive system. And if you are considering buying a, a O drive system for your 3D printer, then this video is for you. So please watch it carefully. Uh, we're going to discuss about how that system is printing quality wise and, and also the downside of that system because it's not everything is not great it's great system but there's there's a little something that you need to be aware if you want to buy a O drive system first thing first I'd like to mention that I'm running O drive version 3 and uh, there's a version 4 coming that should be way better and it should fix almost fix um, the issue that I'm gonna be showing you tonight and when I mean issue it's it's just some artifacts that you get uh, on the print um, when you print slow uh, let's first talk about the quality it prints super good tolerances are are right there uh, I didn't have any issue with that um, quality is good there, there's nothing really wrong with it quality wise unless you print slow and this is where it starts to um, have the issue. Remember in my other video when I was setting up the O-Drive system, I was uh, tuning the anti-cogging um, system. It's a, uh, it's a technology that will combat or fight the, the cogging issue that we get on, on brushless motors. And if you don't know what cogging is, I, I really suggest you go check my other video. There's a section about uh, anti-cogging calibration you'll see what that is but basically it's an issue when the motor on a brushless motor uh, when it, it spins slow it kind of move in a jerky way because when it encounter a magnet um, inside inside the motor it will kind of yeah be a jerky movement so um, anyway so go go check that video you'll understand what cogging is now if you print fast with that system if the motors spin fast you'll get great quality really really great, great quality now if the motors start to spin slow this is where you're gonna get cogging effect and this will cause artifact and I'm gonna try to show you this in and that print actually we're starting to see artifacts on this wall okay and we're gonna go back to that later so I have printed another piece of plastic right here to show you a bit more about the issue. And we're gonna go under direct light because otherwise uh, it gets, I mean, you, you see it better here. So at the top here, I was printing at 10 millimeters per second and you can clearly see the cogging effect. I, I think it's cogging issue. So it, it might be something else, but I'm pretty sure that is cogging issue with the motor. Um, 10 millimeters, 20, 40, then 60 if I remember correctly and the faster you go the effect the artifacts there will vanish it will go away um, you start to see really good quality past 100 150 millimeters at 200 millimeters per second it gets super good 250 and even higher is better um, but anything slow you'll get you'll get those artifacts now since the very first day I've managed to get to get great print quality simply because I'm printing fast. And if I need to print slow because the part is small and I get really tiny details, I need to slow down the print. Um, it's not gonna bother me because the part will be so slow, uh, so small, or details will be so small that you're not gonna see artifacts because you only see artifacts when you have a straight wall um, on the print so even on on curvy surfaces it's really hard to see artifacts because the effect is not uh, as present than on a flat surface like a, a, a straight wall so that's the good thing about it so you can print slow and you're not gonna see artifacts simply because yeah that part will be small and it's gonna be hard to see artifacts so it's still gonna print great quality um, and for any other part uh, that has a like straight walls like that you can print fast and it's gonna be okay now where I found another issue is um, it, it, it's caused by the print system itself where uh, let me explain you so this wall is 40 degree angle this wall is 0 degree angle or 90 degree the other wall inside here is uh, 45 degree angle 
And on a Corixy system like that, when you print 45 degree angle, what happened is that only one motor will spin, the other one will stay stationary. And that's what you see there. When the motor pauses, it's because it does the 45 degree angle. Now, on a 40 degree angle, which is almost there at 45, but a little before, what that means is that one motor will spin fast, and to uh, do that 40 degree angle, the other motor will spin a bit slow. It's not going to be a 45 degree angle where only one motor spin and that one is stationary. So one motor will be slow, and I'm going to show you that. Um, I'm going to try to sync that on the printer. So take a look at that motor in the back when it's doing that 40 degree angle wall. Now, slow, slow. And let's get closer so you can see that. So there's always a, a move there. It spins fast and slow. And every time that goes slow, there's gonna be some cogging effect. And this is what you see right here. You see those lines? So that's what you get. Um, if you if you print slow with that system and it gets even even worse if you go with with super slow sprint But when you go slow, I mean Again, it's because the part is small and the part being small you won't be able to see artifacts that much So everything's good so far. The only issue now is that on the print like that you can't really Do something about it because even if you crank up the speed you're still gonna be slower in that part since um, it's not 45 degree, it's 40, but there's always going to be one motor that will be slower and that will cause some issues. Now, you could fix that by rotating the Z. Um, when you slice it, you rotate the part just a bit so you don't have any angle like that. But sometimes on a part, you'll have several walls that you don't know the angle, so you'll never know what's, what's going to happen. So um, you have to print uh, fast and, and that's going to that's gonna help. The other way around that is that you gear up your system. Mine is geared um, 1 to 2 ratio. I've also tried gearing it with 60. Um, so that's what, that, that would be 1 to 3. And that has helped. I would say 33% <laughs> better. And I'm going to show you um, when we stop this guy. We're gonna, let's just stop that. Cancel print. And we're going to go and do a home. And we're gonna stop that fan because it's loud as. There you go. Okay, now let's take a look at that part and and see. Let's go under direct light. Okay, so that's the straight wall printed at. I think that one was at 200 millimeters per second. Let me just move my hand right here so the focus is good. Okay, so it looks good. There's a tiny, tiny bit of artifact, but that's. That's not too bad because that's I've used a filament, a silky filament, that will show it way better. If you use like ABS or matte finish or anything like carbon filled, you won't see them. There, the, the walls are pretty good. Now, where where it gets a bit sad is on this wall, and you can see that again. If it's matte finish or carbon finish, it's it's going to be really really hard to see. But on a glossy filament, you will see that kind. Now let's take a look at that 45 degree angle. Almost perfect. Um, this this here is the wipe, 5 millimeter wipe. So that one's good. That one's good as well. And on the curvy surfaces, it's good as well. Um, those vertical lines are part of the STL. So it's been uh, output from Fusion and even at high resolution, Fusion still make um, vertical lines on the STL. So that's what I wanted to show you. Artifacts, because that wall, it would be better if it was printed at really 45 degree angle. That way, one motor is stationary, the other one is printing fast. Let's um, compare that with, uh, hold on. Let me see if I can handle two parts at the same time. Okay, the top one, this is the same part. The top one has been printed with a 60 teeth, a 62 pulley, and the bottom one is a 40 tooth pulley. So one to two gear ratio at the bottom, one to three at top. So it gets really, really, really better. 
The only reason why I'm not keeping the 60 pulley right there is because you lose top speed and you also lose acceleration. Um, the motor will spin faster, so it will make a bit more noise, which I'm I'm I prefer much better the 40 degree pulley because I'm I'm okay. I'm okay running um, running with the 40 the 40 teeth pulley. 42, 40 teeth pulley. <laughs> Sorry, my English is bad sometimes. I'm okay with that because um, it, it's it's not gonna happen very often, and I can live with that. This machine is for prototyping, so I'm good with it. Now, O Drive 4 is coming, and the anti cogging in that system will be way better as I've talked to O Drive support. So, if you're considering buying an O Drive system, please wait for O Drive 4. Um, I think it's worth a, a wait. Um, it will be it will be better. So this issue might be fixed in in the new release. Um, unfortunately, it, it's it's not going to be just a firmware update. So O Drive V3 cannot be updated to have that new uh, anti cogging. I've been told that it's because it will need um, more CPU processing power for that anti cogging. So wait for V4. You'll be happy. It's a great system. Even V3 is great. I mean, I'm in love with that system. With with um, the way I'm set up right now, it's super quiet. It's capable of super quality. Um, just sometimes, depending on the angle that you're gonna print, you're just gonna get some little artifacts, but it's only on straight walls. If the part is like 40 degree, like mentioned, just rotate it a bit, you'll be, you'll be okay. So that's what I wanted to show you before you take decision and buy a system like that. Now, with V3, um, it could be also that these motors are, are just too big for, for what we're doing. <laughs> might be too powerful, too, the magnets might be too big, that is what is causing uh, the cogging effect. So if you wanna go with V3 but, tr but try with a different size motor, go ahead. Uh, I would be very interested in your finding, what you find there, if it's, if it's fixing the issue. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be better with a smaller motor with have uh, that has uh, smaller magnets that will cause less cogging. So that would be interesting. So if you do have a system like that or you buy it, um, share with me. Join um, our Discord channel, uh, VZBot on on Discord. There's a link in my YouTube uh, in my YouTube channel. Uh, join us talk about it there's a servo section so let's discuss about it so that was that was it oh one last part that I'd like to show you this is um, hold on this was printed at 200 millimeters per second and like I said on curvy surfaces you don't see artifacts it's it's good quality is there so it's only on straight walls so when you print slow and you can't always print fast because of the angle. So keep that in mind if you get that system. Rotate your part in a way that you're not going to get that issue. Other than what? Sorry. <laughs> Other than that, everything's great with that system. You will love it. It's silent. It's super performant. If you want to go fast, that's the way to go. Um, well, way to go. There are several ways to go fast, even with steppers. But this is a cool system to have. So on this... Um, I wish you all a good night, and again, oh yeah, I got new Jamaican rum. <laughs> this one will be for me, but also for you guys. Cheers. Have a good night.